Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got this. This is a remote controlled BB-8 from the film franchise Star Wars. Alright, let's open her up and let's have a little look inside. Motor. His head. His body. Are you going to stay? Yeah. As well as a controller and some manuals as well. Alright, so where do we get started? Let's start with this. So, let's open this up. I'm guessing that the body opens. Are you going to stay? Nope. And that the motor fits inside. So the motor is quite standard. A little brushed motor inside here that controls these two wheels either side here. Now these two wheels spin on this particular ball which causes the rolling motion. And then you've got two little wheels here again that just allow the, um, the ball to move freely without this falling around inside. And then you've got two magnets on here which, which connect to this particular head which allows the head then to freely move around uh, separately from the body. One other thing to mention with this as well is that this particular motor requires batteries. You get the battery bay directly at the bottom. There's a little screw in here, so excuse the hands folks while I just unscrew this. There we go, like so. Once the screw is removed, oh, takes a bit more, and then just by pulling the battery bay comes out. So this Oh, that's a bit of a weird setup. So this requires four AA batteries. One on the front, three underneath. Once the batteries are put in, obviously what you'll need to do then is you are going to have to put this back on. So then just fit this in and then just screw it back up. And then that then will be nice and secure, ready for when we come to put him inside his housing. So let's see. Down the main part of this particular ball as you can see there is a little mark running all the way around twist that oh quite tough and inside this is what you'll get so this is in this is where the motor will fit so let's have a little look it's quite a tight fit look at that but it does fit nonetheless and then you've just got to move around there we go until you've found exactly where that fits in. Wow, that that really feels quite heavy, but above all, it feels quite well balanced. Now, there we go. <laughs> this is obviously the way that the motor is lying. There, okay. Let's take his head out, because his head is magnetic, and that fits on the body. I should have, oh, there we go. <laughs> and as the body rolls, Obviously the motor inside moves, which then moves the magnet, which allows his head to move around like that. Well, there he is. We've just put together, successfully built, oh, yeah, there we go. We've just successfully built a little BB-8. That's really quite sweet. All right, so I tell you what. Okay, there we go. Enough of his head falling all over the place. That's really quite sweet. I quite like that. Alright, let's put him to one side. Can you stay there, buddy? Yep. Let's move the empty bag. Obviously inside here you do get a few manuals. The manual inside here does explain how to put together little BB-8. So it's worth reading those as well. Now, let's come on to this little transmitter. Look at this. Really quite nice, really quite sweet. You have your standard forward and back motions as well as left and right to control this little guy. Obviously you're controlling the motor inside uh, this little guy here. As well as, if you turn it over, we have our little battery bay, which has a screw currently inserted. So let's get a screwdriver. And, oh, oh a bit of pressure needed there. Excuse the hands, folks. Let's take that screw out. There we go. So then, this needs two AAA batteries in order to function. This charger, does, this transmitter does not allow charging, so you are going to have to use shop bought or pre-charged batteries on this, in this particular charger before you take this guy out. Now, as you can see, this guy is 
totally totally solid totally uh, totally flat so he can move around on the floor I would most definitely suggest this guy gets used inside and not outside uh, one because the charger the 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 transmitter distance and two because you don't want the body of this guy cracking on any large stones it's trying to roll over so if you've got a carpeted or laminated floor that would work quite nicely uh, indeed so there we are folks thanks ever so much for watching listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy rolling